Hi folks, my name's Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira and I'm here today to show you everything that's new in Construct 3 release 197. I'm here today working from home so I apologise if the sound quality is a bit different or you hear my creaky chair. Now uh, let's get started. Um, as ever, there's absolutely loads of new stuff. I'm just going to focus on three things in this video. Uh, the first thing which we're quite excited about, this is um, a new feature called Guided Tours and this is what we'll send. Everyone who's new in Construct uh, through will suggest, um, when you run it for the first time, it will suggest that you go through this. And this is a step-by-step -step guide. Um, it's a kind of um, tutorial which literally shows you exactly what to click on. It tells you why you're clicking on it and um, it makes it absolutely clear uh, what to do and why you're doing it. So it's really it's a really simple way to get started and learn the basics of how a construct works. Um, I realise that a lot of you listening to this video, you'll already be familiar with construct, so you might not necessarily want to uh, go through a um, a sort of beginner level tutorial like this. But we still think it's important to help attract new people to construct. Um, also, if you know anyone else who um, uses construct. Um, or doesn't use Construct yet and you want to um, get them involved and help them try it out and get them on board, this is a great way to show them how to get started. Um, you don't need to cross-reference with a written tutorial or anything like that. It will just take you right in the editor step by step. So I'm just going to exit that. Um, that's enough of that. Um, probably the biggest new change uh, for everyone else in this release is we've largely replaced the pin behavior. We haven't replaced it, we've uh, significantly overhauled it to add lots of new options which have been popular requests. Um, so for example, now when you use the pin action, uh, there'll be a list of different properties uh, which you can choose which ones you want to pin. So you can choose, for example, just the X coordinate or the, um, the whole position and the angle. There's new options for the width and height or you can do both for the size in absolute and scale and there's Z elevation there as well. And just to show you a uh, example of what's now possible with these new options, um, this is a demo where uh, it's using the pin behavior to pin to an image point in the sprite so it follows its size and it's also pinning the scale of the um, shield, these red uh, five logos. Uh, so that they follow the scale of the object as well. This previously was um, a little bit trickier to do with the pin behavior. It's now all built in. And so that's using the pin to image point action, which you can see is a new action here. There's a couple more new, um, new actions in the behavior there. And there's also a new option to destroy the object um, if the thing it's pinned to is also destroyed. Thirdly and finally, the only other thing I'm going to cover in this video is it's a nice um, uh, quality of life feature for power users. If you have uh, instance a string instance variable in your events, um, Construct can now auto-complete the other strings you've used. So um, often this is, uh, you might use a string instance variable as a kind of uh, state or, or mode for an object uh, to implement some kind of a simple AI or a state machine kind of logic. And so here the monster starts with a state of seeking um, and it's used in the events as well and uh, in, under some circumstances it will change its state to attacking. And now if I make a compare instance variable um, condition it will now auto-complete the other instance variables um, strings which are used in the event. So you can see it's suggesting attacking and seeking, which are both uh, used as actions up here. And this list of suggestions, it applies everywhere you set uh, or compare instance variables. Um, it also works for a few other things like uh, um, function parameters. So hopefully that will be useful to you. As ever, go through the release notes and see all of the changes. There's absolutely loads. I just want to keep this video relatively short for today. Um, and we hope you enjoy the release. Thank you.